reference point, and speed. How do you know if an object is moving? Is the kid on the bike moving? How do you know? What about now? To determine if an object is moving or not, you need to use a reference point. A reference point is a stationary object that is used to determine if an object is moving. These trees are great to use as reference points. Even though the wheels on the bike are spinning, the kid's distance from the tree on the right is not changing. In this scene, the kid is not moving. Here, we can see that the distance between the kid and the tree on the right has changed. In this scene, the kid is moving because there is a change in distance between the kid and the reference point. Which objects would make the best reference point? Is the girl on the skateboard moving? If you use the tree, a building, or a bush as a reference point, then yes, the girl is moving. Is the lady on the bike moving? If you used the tree, a building, or a bush as a reference point, then no, the lady is not moving. If the driver is the reference point, is the girl moving? The distance between the girl and the driver did not change, so with that reference point, the girl is not moving. This is why it's important to use stationary objects as reference points. Now that you know about reference points, can you tell how fast something is moving? Speed is the rate at which an object moves. Speed is calculated as distance over time, or s equals d over t. We can calculate the speed of the dog by measuring the distance it traveled and dividing it by the time it took to go that distance. Let's say the distance is 30 meters and the time was 2 seconds. 30 divided by 2 equals 15 meters per second. What is the speed of the snail if it moves 1 meter in 30 seconds? 1 divided by 30 equals 0 0.3 meters per second. A reference point is a stationary object that is used to determine if an object is moving. Speed is the rate at which an object moves, and speed is calculated as distance over time. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.